I'm Ali. Welcome to my world, bitch. And yes, I am sick. You can you can hear it. I can feel it. It's not COVID though. It's weird being sick in 2020. Everyone just immediately is just like, oh my god, it's like a cold. It's COVID, but it's not. I think. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> when Phoebe has a cold, like she sees it, she's like, I love my sexy voice. My sticky shoes. My sticky sticky shoes. And I'm just like. It's fearless. So with um, all of the Taylor Swift stuff, um, that's been happening over the last couple of years, obviously, you know, like, is she a bad person? Is she a liar, blah, 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 blah. Like, obviously that doesn't matter because she's an incredible musician, like get the hell out. And like the whole narrative of like the patriarchy doing all these things is just like, cool, whatever. Like, I mean, I wanted to, her to address all the drama in her docuseries that she released on Netflix, but like she didn't and like, fine. I just like the drama. But anyway. Every day I wake up and I'm just so annoyed at whoever conditioned me to believe that Taylor Swift was a bad person. How did you do that? How did you do it? It's just horrible, sexist behaviour. Why are the media even allowed to do that? She's unreal talented, unreal person, unreal everything. Her lyrics, everything about her. I just think that she is the best, the best thing in the world. So casually cruel in the name of being mad. She's just amazing. If you are still stuck on this idea that Taylor Swift is a bad person, you're missing out. You don't deserve Taylor Swift. Oh, 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 yeah, and she's releasing um, like a, a, a video album on Disney Plus. I don't know if that's already out yet. My, my friend who I was getting Disney Plus off of changed the password and I'm too scared to <laughs> ask for what it is. So let's go over every Taylor Swift song and you know, as usual, eye contact, but who knows? So our categories are as follows and I'm really proud of them. I think I did a really good job at picking names for these guys. Yeah, Scream Dance are the ones that you just have like a visceral reaction to and you just have to just you just have to dance and like scream the lyrics at the top of your lungs because it just calls for that. Um, the next one is like banger bop, like so either it's a banger or it's bop or it's both. Like it's just like whoa, like it's not t like I have to be like it's not like a visceral reaction, but I really love it because it just this song goes off um, for me at least. Like everyone else that don't care, like this is this is my ranking, okay. And if you don't care what I think, what are you doing here? But also please stay because I want views. <laughs> Um, and they're beautiful, like these are the ones that are just so beautiful and just so pretty and like they're just really nice. They're, they're not like, they're not quite a banger, but I like them and they're just nice. These are the ones that I'm like meh, so it might be that like they're overplayed or like I'm sick of them or I just don't care. Like they're not bad, I'm just not into it. Um, and I reckon, I reckon at least half of reputation is going to be there. Um, and then bitch, look what you made me do. Like I, I said a Taylor Swift song is bad. You did this to me. How dare you? Um, and I'm really mad at her for some of the songs that she released. Because I'm like, you know what? This is Taylor Swift, okay? This is the bitch who gave us our song. And this is the bitch who gave us Should Have Said No. And this is the bitch who gave us Forever and Always. And this is the bitch who gave us All Too Well. And then she's just going to give us crap. We starting. Um, okay. Tim McGraw is meh. Like, honestly, it's nice. It's fine. But like we need, we need to be really harsh with these ones, okay? Because Tim McGraw is really nice and I like it, but it's not, like I don't hear it and I'm just like, oh, I love this one. Or, you know, it's, it's just not that. Because like anything that's like beautiful is like, oh my god, I love this one. Like I kind of almost forgot about it, but like I really, really like it. It's really nice. Picture to burn, scream dance. You cannot tell me that this song does not make you furious. But in like the best way and like you're just happy that you're furious and you're just dancing and screaming. Okay, teardrops on my guitar, beautiful. Um, I also love that Chris Keller is in the music video for that one. Um, that's just really fun. A place in this world, meh, like it's pretty cold as you. Okay, that, <sighs> I can't even explain it. Just, I've never been anywhere cold as you. That's incredible lyrics. How dare you? The outside, I, I don't know. Okay, beautiful. Cause like, I just feel it. I feel it when that song comes. No, you know what? It's a banger bop. It just is. It, 
oh, that's great. Tied together with a smile. Makes me cry. It's so good. Stay beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Should have said no. Scream dance. And not only because in my head, in my household, it is a meme and a half um, because of Nicole. Mary's song is forgotten, but it is a banger bop. It is incredible. Um, our song, Scream Dance, 100%. I'm only me when I'm with you. I'm, it would be a scream dance, but honestly, it's just like, it feels like a codependent relationship and we can't reward that kind of stuff because you should be me when you're by yourself or when you're with your girlfriends, but like you're only you when you're with this person that you're dating. Mm -mm, no bueno, we don't like that. Invisible is beautiful. A perfectly good heart just like because this whole album like you gotta remember she was like 16 when she wrote this and it's just like this is exactly what i needed when, like when this album came out i was like 10 but i was still just like oh my god yes how how could you perfectly break a perfectly good heart like why uh i just felt it and i still do like nostalgia i know her she's my best friend she lives here with me every day um this is not an objective ranking at all this is <laughs> this is completely objective this is me and my personal memories once we get up to speak now we're we, we might get some stories depends how i feel in two minutes fearless scream dance because the thing is fearless does not start out strong it slowly gets there like it's it's a slow it's a slow reach but then like when it hits it hits 15 is beautiful you can't tell me it's not beautiful love story yeah but like it's overplayed it's overdone hey steven is fun yeah she likes saying yeah a lot in her songs white horse um you belong with me like it's great and it would be it would be a bag of bob maybe a scream dance but like it's just overdone it's overplayed breathe is beautiful Tell Me Why is a scream dance. You're Not Sorry is the most scream dance song that has ever scream danced. The Way I Loved You, I would, I don't, okay. I'm gonna say Banger Bop. I'm gonna say it would be a scream dance, again, if it wasn't like toxic, codependent, like. Your name, I'm so in love that I acted insane. And that's the way I love. Forever and Always. Actually, Forever and Always is a scream dance. It just is. The best day is so beautiful. Change is a scream dance. Not many people know change, but they should because it's amazing. And Forever and Always acu acoustic is just beautiful. Like it doesn't have the same scream dance element, but it is still beautiful lyrics, beautiful music, and it's incredible. It's just beautiful. And that's why I spelled beautiful like that way. It's not like beautiful like in um, Bruce Almighty, but it's like beautiful. It's just beautiful. But not like beautiful, like, like an ass. It's just beautiful. Mine is so pretty. Okay, Sparks Fly. The thing is Sparks Fly comes in so hot it just comes in so hard and then it dies down a little bit and then it just shoots up again. Back to December is so good. Speak now. Again, just like toxic and I can do without it. And not toxic in a good way. Like Britney Spears is toxic, but like toxic in a like, okay, I don't like that. You know, like if they really loved you, why are they, why are they about to marry someone else, you know? And also like they're obviously about to marry someone else. Like you should probably let it go. Anyone else watching The Crown? <laughs> Season three, episode 10. Is that you? Okay, dear John. Again, meh. Like, you were like 18 dating a 28 year old. Pfft. I don't know, I don't like that. Mean. I'm gonna say, bitch, look what you made me do. Because like, I know it's like about high school bullies and all that kind of stuff, but like, it might just be like Glee ruining that song for me. The story of us is a scream dance because that was everything to me in year eight at school. 8th grade, 14, and it was everything. It was everything to me. Never Grow Up is absolutely beautiful. Same as like the best day. It's just like, it's one that's gonna make you cry. Enchanted is a banger bop. Better Than Revenge is Dance Scream, okay? Better Than Revenge was me in year, in like year 7 and year 8. And I'm just like, mm, stupid bitch. 
Because he's still my boyfriend. I'm 12. We never even spoke to each other. But he was my boyfriend. But we never talked to each other. We didn't know anything about each other. But you still my boyfriend, bitch. Mm. It was the stupidest thing. But 100% better than revenge was the anthem to my life at that time. Innocent is absolutely beautiful. Haunted is a scream dance. Like, you can't dance to it. And you can't scream it because it's so vocally challenging. But you just have to. You just have, like, you can't, but you have to. Last Kiss is beautiful. Long Live is a banger bop. It's really close to being Scream Dance, but it's very much fairy tale. Oh my gosh, I should not be talking this much. My throat hurts so much. Towers is just beautiful. It's lovely. If this was a movie, again, it's just so pretty. It's beautiful. Superman, beautiful. Back to December, acoustic, again, is beautiful. And like haunted acoustic, I'm gonna say it's a banger bop because like it's just like it's not the same as the original, but it's just so beautiful. Oh, I love it. State of Grace, I'm gonna say is beautiful. Red, I'm gonna say meh. Treacherous is really pretty, but like I just don't vibe it. I knew you were trouble, so overplayed. I'm sick of it. Get out of my life. Um, all too well is the most scream dance song to have a scream dance 22 i'm gonna say bang a bop because i still dance to that but like i wouldn't like put it on but like if it came on it'd be like i almost do oh, break my perfectly good heart we're never getting back together bitch look what you made me do stay 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 it's actually really nice and really fun but like meh the last time is beautiful holy ground I really like, I don't know what it is about it, but I just really like it. Sad, Beautiful, Tragic is the same as Treacherous in my head. They are the exact same song. The Lucky One is beautiful. Everything has changed. Also really pretty. Starlight is a bang of bop. Launched it, begin again. That's good. I like that. Okay. The moment I knew is incredible. Like These are the three bonus tracks for the album of Red. And it is ridiculous how fire they are they are absolute fire okay fight me actually girl at home is probably just a bag of up but it's so good welcome to new york is really nice and we like the queer reference but like it's just not amazing blank space okay is really lyrically great and incredible and just a great song but it is just a little bit overplayed that's why it's not a bag of up um style i really like out of the woods i really like all you had to do was stay shake it off oh my god could you get more basic than shake it off no you can't because it's the most basic song to ever exist um i wish you would bad blood oh my god that's like the start of the pettiness and like that song being a success in my head paved the way for reputation and i'm mad about it wildest dreams is really pretty how you get the girl i really really like i don't know what it is about it i just really, really like it okay this love is meh um it's not something special i know places is really pretty um just because of like the back vocals like it's just like i know places we could oh i'm so flat okay clean is great wonderland is amazing we found wonderland i oh my my voice i need to stop this you are in love is beautiful and new romantics is one of the best songs to ever exist in the whole world it's incredible and i'm so mad that it's just a bonus track like it's on the deluxe edition only and i'm like wow rude ready for it Bitch, look what you made me do. The thing about Ready For It is, because now, now we're in reputation if you didn't get that. Um, Ready For It is just feels like seven different songs in one. And I'm like, babe, babe, just pick a lane. End game. I wanna be an end game. It's fine. I did something bad. The thing is, if it wasn't for the message behind it, I'd be kind of on board. But I think it's just the whole album just feels so petty. And I'm like... Yeah, Kim Kardashian sucks. We know that. But we follow her anyway. Like, we follow you because you're talented. You don't need to get involved. You, you don't need to get involved. It's fine. Okay. 
Delicate is actually quite pretty. Look what you made me do. <laughs> I don't know where it goes. So it goes, there's also there, gorgeous. I actually love, gorgeous is fun as hell. My car is really nice. King of my heart is meh. Like, you know, there's work to be done. Um, Dancing with our hands tied is really cool, but it just, again, it feels like two completely different songs. Um, and I think a lot of my issue with reputation is I'm just like, cool. What's interesting about this one? Oh, oh, you've just got seven different things going on that don't go together at all. Cool, love that. Um, but where's the flavor? Like even with these songs, there's so much going on and like they're all so different, like where's the flavor? Dress, um, okay. So I kind of nice things. Call it what you want, I really get around actually. I, I rate it, it's a good one, it's a fun one. Um, New Year's Day is beautiful, but again, like where's the flavor? Like it's really nice, like so much potential, but like where's the flavor? Don't blame me, I'm gonna say meh. I don't entirely remember it, so I can't say it's amazing, but I also can't say, bitch, look what you made me do. Okay, I forgot that you existed. It was the perfect way to start out the next album following Reputation, because honestly, it's just great. It's great. It's so amazing. I love it. Cruel Summer is fine. It's fine. Lover, again, is fine. And I know that's like the title of the album. I don't care. Like, this, like it's just, where's the flavor? Where is it? And when Sean Mendes put himself on it, I was just like, there's the flavor. That's where it is. Except that's not the album version. I'm only doing her albums, if you didn't already guess. The Man, okay, it might just be me and my raging feminist instincts, but The Man is a scream dancer if I ever heard one. The Archer is really good. I think He Knows is also really good. Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince is really good. Paper Rings is so great. I love that so much. And I wish that my family didn't care about my wedding so that I could just get married with paper rings and just elope because I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone to marry anyway. Oh. Cornelia Street's really nice. Death by a Thousand Cuts is really cool, but like I just don't, don't tempt me to Death by a Thousand Cuts. London Boy is fine. Soon you'll get better. Oh my God, make me cry, I dare you. Put on this song and it'll make me cry. I can't listen to it without crying. It's so beautiful. Okay, False God, it's pretty. You need to calm down. Again, it just feels very like petty and attacky. And I know that it's like a queer anthem or something, but like nothing in the lyrics suggests that. The only thing that suggests that is the video clip. But the song actually just feels like her being like, guys, chill out. Like, I'm allowed to be me. And I'm like, 100% you are, but don't buy into their crap. Like, I don't... Where's the flavor? You know? Afterglow is beautiful. Me? The reason that I've called this one meh instead of eh is because of me. This song... Just where's the flavor? Like I heard Brendan Urie was doing a song with her and I was so excited. I turned in with Haven't You People Ever Heard of Closing the Goddamn Door. That was amazing. And then when we would get in trouble for saying goddamn door, incredible, okay? It was a cultural reset. And then Brendan Urie's on the most disappointing song on the whole album. Wow, thank you. Thank you for wasting the talent of Brendan Urie. It's Nice Time Friend is really pretty. It's fine. Um... And Daylight, again, it's really pretty, it's really fine. Okay, and now it's a Folklore, which is the album I've been listening to non-stop since it was released. I don't even know how long ago, not that long ago. The one... I think I just really like country music. <laughs> Cardigan is boring. It's pretty, but it's boring. Okay, The Last Great American Dynasty might be my one of my favourite songs in the whole thing. It's just so... It's this great story, and it's just good. I like it. Exile is an incredible song. It was this week that I found out that Bon Iver is not like a singular older man, um, but a young indie band. <laughs> um, My Tears Ricochet is really pretty. Mirrorball, again, is really pretty. Seven is really pretty. Like that might make you cry, but it doesn't make me cry. August is really pretty. This is me trying, oh my gosh, my entire life. Illicit Affairs. Invisible string, I don't know what it is, but invisible string just like, I don't know, something about the strumming pattern I really like. Mad Woman, and again, it might just be my feminist 
undertones in everything that I do and everything that I like, but I'm just like, yeah, bitch, a mad woman, you made her mad. <laughs> Epiphany, again, it's just really, oh, love that. And Betty is a scream dancer of a song that will make you cry. It is so good. I love Betty. He's hoax. Hoax is so good. I love it. And the ladies I only listened to yesterday, so I don't know it super well, but it is really nice um, and does not seem toxic at all. So there it is. That's all. Um, tell me in the comments what I did wrong. What song should I have included? What song did I not rank correctly according to your perspectives? Um, like, subscribe, and please share with your friends or the Taylor Swift mad fans or people who hate her or something. Um, and also just remember if the reason that you don't like her is because, oh, like, she only really sings about blues. Oh, like, she's so, so petty. Blah, 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 blah. She's, a, she's a brilliant musician. Like, get out. That sucks. Like, that's the patriarchy talking and you're part of the problem. Yeah, I'm gonna go and rest because I'm sick. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you next week with something that might be really lighthearted, like ranking pop stars music, or it might be something deeper, like human rights. Who knows, bitch? Don't be a dick. Bye.